Entomologist is getting a skin, an accessory, and an emote. Let's begin. Welcome back, everyone. So last week, we got the Moonlight Race Qualifier phase, where all players had to choose one of the three factions to be able to compete against each other to do as many matches as you wish to be able to be in the top faction. Those top factions at the end of the event that I believe will be coming either next week or in the next couple of weeks will be able to receive special rewards, including special portraits for the top teams. There was also a second part of the event that was the Moonlight Race faction prediction where you could predict every single day to be able to get special rewards. So if at the end of that day you predicted correctly which teams you know were going to be in the top places, which ones got the top speeds, all of those ones, you would get special rewards. We got another event that was the Mana Athletic Games where we had a daily check-in event where you could get graffitis, inspirations and more. If you claimed newspapers that I believe you got from doing matches, you'd be able to get a portrait frame Glory Returns and by completing matches you receive athletic energy that would accumulate each day players would then be rewarded if they had infused energy a little bit confusing but anyway you would then get a currency you could use in the event store to be able to get stuff from the previous year events and some new stuff as well they added cheerleader into rank matches and they made it so photographer can now see his camera outlines that actually makes them a little bit easier to play for beginners especially but let's talk about what's coming this week we've got a skin that a lot of people have been waiting for and that is gardeners after the rain skin that arrives in the store this is an S tier skin that is very, very beautiful and has some very nice effects, some nice glowing kind of particle things that go around you. But this is a skin that's not part of a crossover, but is themed around the crossover that's also coming this week. That is the breathtaking 10 scenes of West Lake event. That is a lake event that we've been looking forward to talking about for quite a while. By completing event quests, you will be able to receive an exclusive portrait frame, gardener exclusive emote that's quite nice as well, and a couple of other rewards as well so this is a very nice minor event that is a crossover with a lake and i believe there will be another part in the future as Nettis has kind of mentioned something like this in a QA that they expect to be able to do another part with another character not sure if they'll be ever bringing this skin back again but we never know on the 24th of september we're getting a character day for first officer so make sure that if you are a first officer fan that you play on that day to get his specific rewards let's talk about what's coming from the future we've got quite a a lot of stuff coming as far as I can tell as I don't think there's anything else coming this week at least they haven't announced anything else coming this week a lot of stuff is coming on the 28th of September that would be the start of the new essence and that is the new essence season 28 essence 2 that was revealed they revealed that there's an estia skin for entomologist that's called Congo I don't know how you pronounce this but it is a very beautiful skin I showed it to my wife and she loved it and it looks really really cool gamekeeper and barmaid are also getting some skins of course Gamekeepers is called Ormoludia that looks kind of cool and evil and fun. I really like the look of that skin and Barmaid is getting the A tier skin Luminous Cup that looked a little bit like Santa for a little bit but then if you look carefully of course it's not like a Santa themed skin. It is quite nice overall. Of course we're also getting some B tiers in this essence and I believe those are going to be for Thief, Seer and possibly Female Dancer unless that Female Dancer one is from the previous kind of Middle Eastern themed ones. She does have a lot of skins that look very similar. Themed around this essence we're also getting an event on September 28th and that's called the Desert Autumn Event. This is going to bring along some new rewards including an entomologist A tier accessory called Desert Elf or possibly called that that's just a translation from China and it's like a dragonfly so I wonder what kind of effects that will give. I also don't know if this is going to be part of the event or if this is going to be something that's available in the store to get but we'll have to see how that goes. There's also going to be a B tier skin for Weeping Clown called sandbar under the moon once again translation so it might not be what it's called in the actual game when it's released and there'll be some more rewards including two portrait frames as far as i can tell a furniture piece that's like a big liar a special event map as far as i can tell there was one part that had a tent and it said something about there being a tent released and there's also like a special map going to be released that looks a little bit like Chinatown but it's like a podium I don't really know what that's all about but there are going to be possibly one map and one tent or two maps I don't really know with that event there'll also be some new items added to the spyglass store or I guess returns of some items and then some new items as well and one of those items is going to be the return of postman's B tier skin from the autumn messenger event came out a year or two ago that skin is upgradable from B tier to A tier if you spend 580 echoes. This skin will be purchasable both from the event store that would be the Spyglass store with Spyglasses. I also believe it's going to be purchasable with 
remnants. So if you have the currency remnants, you might be able to get that skin as well, but you won't be able to upgrade it unless you use your echoes. In the Spyglass store, you'll also find some more dishes, quite a lot of fancy looking dishes, and an emote for entomologist called Play Instrument that I assume would make her play the lyre that might be themed around the lyre furniture piece. I don't really know. Now, the next part, I don't know if this is going to be in the Spyglass store, if this is going to be part of a mini event that you'll be able to do. They're bringing back Postman's Aether accessory that is the windmill. I talked about it recently as one of the accessories that you probably shouldn't get, but that will be returning. I'm assuming it will they'll give it for free if it's not going to be for Spyglasses. And there's also going to be the return of the kind of furniture piece that is the autumn furniture piece leaf that is a carpet. In the store on the 28th of September, not really sure if this is really connected to the essence itself, there's going to be a new S tier skin for Disciple that's called A Visitor to Uza. That seems to be an Egyptian themed skin, ancient Egypt, of course. And it's also going to bring along the A tier accessory Chime that we don't know what its effects are yet, but it does look like a very interesting accessory, at least in its model. These will be available, I'm assuming, both separately for fragments and also for echoes, or you'll be able to buy it in a special package together. I just mentioned that they're bringing back Postman's A tier skin slash B tier skin that's upgradable. And Postman's a really strong character if you want to play a Dakota that can kite. If you want to know why you shouldn't be playing other Dakotas, but you should be playing characters like Postman, check out the video that's on the screen right now.